Hi there, welcome to this video and in this video I will talk about how can I get a job as a data analyst or data visualization developer. Now this is a question I keep getting uh, from you guys who have subscribed or not subscribed but are interested in making a career in data analysis or data visualization and uh, because I do a blogging related to the data visualization tools like ClickView, ClickSense, Tableau, even on the Python and R uh, I receive such questions that uh, even after preparing the course or even after completing the course or getting the education I'm not able to do it. Similarly uh, somebody wants to change the industry let's say somebody is into a technical support but they have now become very bored out of it and uh, want to switch to a different industry and the in interest is on the data visualization or data analysis because of the rise into the data science domain where one of the role is the data analyst or the data visualization developer who can really pro provide stunning visualization create dashboard for the exploratory analysis so here i will take a dig at uh, how you can get a job either you are a fresher or you are uh, or you want to uh, switch the industry and on these 10 steps uh, about these 10 steps is which I basically talks about in my other programs as well and I am giving you here as completely free but if you are interested in in doing more of a consulting more of a uh, real-time interview practice with me uh, that is basically my uh, paid session which I charge and uh, if you are interested you can reach out to me and we can discuss about it all right so let's move on where I will here show you the 10 steps and the very first step is select a tool based on your interest now why I say this because in the market today there are many tools selecting the best tools based on your interest whether it is Tableau which is kind of a market leader Power BI a market leader again in 2019 as well as click which is also near to the uh, market leading position in terms of completeness of vision and execution uh, they they are basically uh, should be your choice where you can basically develop your interest and these three tools basically bring the the different sort of capabilities uh, one tool is basically exp uh, having more expertise or require more expertise in terms of programming another basically more of a drag and drop and one is basically a combination so basically do a careful review where what your interest is if you are not much interested on the programming but more interested on creating stunning visualization and all or if you are coming from the data big background have a lot of good exposure around the data and want to prepare the visualizations you can basically look at so uh, those kind of tools which provide the capability and uh, begin your career that's that's the number one thing uh, especially for those who wants to switch the industry those who are fresher i'm pretty sure that uh, if they are looking towards uh, making a career in the field of data science or data visualization they have pretty much started with at least one or two tools so first is select a tool based on your interest and get a good grasp on it second is get a strong hold on the basic to intermediate feature of that tool so once you have selected the tool let's say for example if you have selected the tableau there are a lot of different features which is available and that get um, on, on which you will get a question whether in interview or in a certification so it's really really important that you have a strong hold on the basics intermediate level of features of that tool so that if you are appearing for an interview you get a very or you're giving a very good answers about uh, those questions third is work on open data projects and showcase your skills i've been talking about it and during my videos or during my other programs that there is a lot of open data which is available i mean even if you are like on 365 days you can just take one data every day and create a project out of it in two or three hours and which you can display on your resume which will basically help you get a good grasp on the tool and showcase your uh, skills to your prospective employer which increases a lot of chance to get hired now after that uh, highlight your work at the top of uh, your resume like I said work on that data projects which is open data projects and uh, highlight that work at 
the top of your resume so that whenever uh, the prospective employer is looking at your resume you can your work is getting highlighted at the top and they can basically go to the uh, these cloud version of the sites like for example tableau has a cloud version click has a cloud version power bi has a cloud version and they can basically look at your work and uh, get impressed and invite you for an interview that means like 50 percent of the war you have already won without even appearing for an interview so very very important step that you need to keep in mind now after that get a good grasp on sql select queries if you especially if you are not coming from the sql background very very important that along with this tool get a good grasp on sql select queries about what type of sql select queries queries which are available and how to create joins how what, how to do group by what is having clause all of those kind of things which is absolutely necessary to get a job uh, in in the particular domain which you choose i cannot emphasize enough that how important it is to learn sql select queries after that make a comprehensive list of interview questions so first of all you know you have the interview questions which is available on multiple websites first of all make a comprehensive list so that you don't have to visit or you you don't have that information in your mind and which is a bit of a confusion over a period of time about which site to visit so first of all make a comprehensive practice question after that prioritize those questions which are important which are not important or based on your experience the interview the interview questions which are getting asked into the interview what try to understand the pattern from the uh, interviewer who is asking you the question what kind of questions are getting asked first what kind of questions are getting asked later how they relate the question from one question to another basically then prioritize your list make a associated list that one question is associated to another and then practice it this will further increase your chance that uh, let's say if in one or first or second interview or third interview if you were not able to make it then with the help of your observation skills you can make a comprehensive with the help of comprehensive list and observation skills you can create a prioritize and connected list of questions and then practice it which will help you to crack the interview maybe let's say third or fourth time now after that take the online certification quizzes along with the interview question there are sites which provide online certification quizzes for example if you are uh, doing a certification is in click power bi or tableau there are sites which or their own site which basically provide the online quizzes for free take those quizzes write those quizzes so that uh, you have an idea about what kind of questions uh, that are basically getting asked in quizzes and the similar question you can even face in an interview so having a good grasp on this is further increasing your chance to get a job in the data analyst after that update your resume every day now this this is a tricky uh, su uh, suggestion and i get a lot of question when i am in my uh, you know assignment those students who are working with me one on one basis so how they, they the first question is how i can update my resume every day i mean i cannot change my skills so that's not the case the case is that uh, if you observe and try to relate this third point work on open data project and showcase your skills every day you can just take one single data set and try to create one one project out of it which you can for then update with little bit of description or one or two line of description in your resume that will help you update your resume until unless you don't don't get a job so you will have to make that effort to to update your resume almost every day which is increasing your skills and up getting giving you an help to update your resume and why I, i'm saying this is because once your resume is updated the algorithm of the uh, of the job sites basically search the most recently updated resume and give that resume at the top when some when some hiring manager or the hr is searching for the resume in the relevant category so if your resume is up to is updated every day your resume will come at the top and you will basically maximize your chance 
to get invited for the interview so very very important i usually give it in my paid program but i'm giving you free so that you can get maximum value out of it and get yourself landed in the job after that join the facebook groups and the linkedin groups where jobs are getting posted directly even i post the jobs over there directly so i trust it i have hired many people from there and trust me uh, these are some serious groups on the facebook or linkedin where real people are posting the jobs and the real people are uh, applying there from the job and i cannot emphasize enough that how much value i have got out of these groups and finally join the local meetups or chapters where like minded people are coming so that you are not only attending this getting the knowledge as well as getting a chance to have a real social connection with those people who are working in that industry and suppose if you are presenting your paper and if they like it it is pretty much possible that they are either inviting for an interview or may even ask you whether you would like to join their team and get a job over there so very very important that you join those chapters figure out those chapters if the chapter is not present take an effort create a chapter so don't wait for an opportunity create an opportunity by creating these uh, meetups or local chapters which is increasing your chance to land in a successfully job and make a real connection with the real people that is related to your industry so these are guys some 10 steps which either a beginner or an experienced person who wants to switch the industry or even in the same industry if you want to go to a next level I believe some of the points are very very important that you can take and which will help you to take your career on the next level. So this is what I wanted to give you if you are interested in in the real time interview assessment I provide that get in touch with me and I can help you understand what the program is and how you can make a success out of it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.